Hey guys, we have a special guest with us today. We have recording artist Mr. Calvin Bridges. How are you, sir? I'm blessed, Sandra. How are you? Hello, everybody who's listening. Listen, we're so glad that you took time to stop by and talk with us today. And we're excited to share your new single, Still Away, with our listeners. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I'm excited, too. I'm uh, getting some good buzz about this song. And I just want to praise God for that. Thank you. So, Kevin, how did you get your start in music and in ministry? Oh, wow. Well, I got started in the ministry quite a few years ago. Um, uh, I did a recording that uh, Reverend Milton Brunson with the Thompson Community Singers. He gave my first recording to the president of Birthright Records, and uh, I was signed to Birthright you know, some years ago. And uh, the whole thing got started there, but uh, probably my biggest successes have been uh, I received a Stella Award for my first project with uh, a record label that hit from that was called Chosen. So I got a Stella Award for Best New Artist there. But again, still the best known work that I've probably have, have done in most years is I wrote a couple of those songs. Uh, one says, Make no difference with the problem. I can go to God in prayer. So I wrote that for Albertina and I wrote her Spread the Word. So those are probably my most popular songs. And uh, that's kind of how I got started, you know? Awesome, awesome. So absolutely, definitely some songs that we've heard before that have come out of your ministry. Uh, but who have been some of those people that have poured into you? Who's been some of the most influential uh, people in your career? Probably most influential would be, again, Reverend Milton Brunson. Uh, I just love his ethic and his uh, professionalism in working with choirs and demanding excellence from everyone who worked with him. Uh, I toured and worked for a little while with uh, Jesse Dixon, who uh, introduced me to uh, some European audiences. And, uh, of course, the Queen, Albertina Walker, who uh, I just learned so many different things from her. I hear her voice in my head all the time. Uh, of things that she said, funny things, things that she's taught me. And uh, those have been some of my major inspirations. But then, of course, uh, on my first project, I got invited out to uh, Edwin Hawkins' uh, Music and Arts Seminar. And uh, meeting Ed was a great experience. And it was a small group. So, I mean, so many of the greats have uh, influenced my, my music and my music ministry. But particularly, let me go back to, say, uh, Jesse Dixon and Albertina, because uh, they taught me to value traditional gospel music. And my music style uh, is very, is, is very, in that uh, my audiences can be from 8 years old to 80 years old. So we always do something on a concert that's going to reach every heart and minister to every life. So what's your technique for songwriting? How do you approach uh, composing a song? Lyrics first, melody first, what's your approach? Well, I, I write primarily by inspiration. Uh, I can write uh, from a theme if I'm given a theme, but primarily I write from inspiration. And it's very important to me that my songs have a, a sound biblical content when they're gospel or when they're inspirational, that they have a, a, a universal message of love or something that's going to be edifying and upbuilding to uh, the person who hears it and to the ones who sing it. But uh, I'm, I write basically by inspiration. My styles are all over the place because uh, God has just given me, I mean, I love Motown coming up. I love Quincy Jones. I love Burt Bacharach and Dion Warwick. Uh, I worked in my early years, which don't tell nobody, because I don't want to get into all of that, at Gamble Huff and Bell in Philadelphia. <laughs> so I have some R&D uh, influences in my, in my early writing as well as uh, in, in some of the things now, you know, can, uh, we can jam as well as a uh, minister. <laughs> so, Absolutely. So listen, tell us about Still Away. Tell us the story behind that song. Still Away is so very dear and precious to my heart. Uh, I was in... Uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and it was early one morning, and I woke up with this melody. And it just kept on ringing in my head. And it stayed with me so long until I could actually hear a choir singing. I don't know what they were singing, but I could hear a choir singing, and it was a big mass choir sound. So it, it just uh, blew my mind. and and. The, the melody stayed with me. So, uh, like I always do, I ask God to, to give me some words, to give me a message. And the, and the whole song grew from that. And it started out as a traditional gospel song. But uh, during the rehearsals for the recording, a good friend of mine says, you know, 
I can hear a small ensemble doing an unplugged version of this song. I said, oh, really? So I said, hmm, I can hear that. I can hear that. So I got together with some friends and uh, uh, taught it to them, and uh, they did it at the recording session. It's a live session. And uh, the people loved it. <laughs> they loved it. I think it was the reason that they loved it. It was a fresh sound for for traditional gospel or for contemporary gospel or just for music being presented in the church, you know? You're not going to hear anything that's a lot like this soon or in the, in the immediacy. So I'm, I'm really grateful that God is giving me something fresh. And uh, it's got a really strong message. Whenever you're in trouble, you can close your eyes and steal away. And and the lyric content of this song, uh, Times of Trouble, and when you, and it's so much going on in the world now. People's lives are torn apart one way or another. It's not uh, bills, it's family problems. But uh, we should always remember that God is always there. He's always near, especially if he's a child. And as close as a prayer, we can always close our eyes and steal away. And when we steal away, we get comfort, we get strength, we get renewed. We get that power to keep on going upward and onward. All right, we're about to take a listen to the latest song coming from Calvin Bridge is Still Away. Calvin, I want you to set this up and introduce it to our listeners. Well, I just want to encourage everybody out there who's listening and let you know that no matter what you're going through, you can close your eyes and still away. God is waiting to hear from you. God is waiting to commune with you. And he's always there, no matter if you're in a crowd or if you're alone. You can close your eyes and still. It's the inspirational power. 